game time. Yo, who's using that smoke gun? I've done this before. This isn't anything new for me. Make it perfect. Uh, the glitz, the glam. I'm not here for any of that. Let's cook. Uh, I'm here to win a competition. Yo, is everyone using garlic? No? OK. Look at those potatoes. Gotta beat the boys. OK, yep. I run a meal prep business. Normally, when you think of meal preps, you think of like frozen chicken and broccoli, and you're like, bleh. But my sick dish is Ava Flava's orange chicken, and that is so much flavor. You get the sweetness, you get that red wine vinegar. So I think he's going to love it. Has anyone got some extra chicken stock? 50 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. What do you make? Doing a pan seared trout with lemon, brown butter, hollandaise, and I'm gonna do a green tomato jam. Nice. Every person I've ever worked for, I've surpassed. I started off as a meat cutter at a smokehouse. Now I'm the executive chef. I do 60, 70 hour work weeks. You work to the bone, you work till you're falling asleep, but that's what it's all about. So getting the opportunity as a protege of Gordon Ramsay, it's a dream. 15 minutes, ladies, just under. The Vitamix was on high and I turned it back on. It's so sad. Because I'm vegan, I did do a vegan dish. It is an herbal tonic soup. It has healing properties. Let's go. I think that this dish could definitely heal Chef Ramsay. He has a lot of fire. Oh, my lord. So I think he needs a lot of cooling soups. It would definitely help him. I'm going to make more garnish. Step on it. Let's go. Making a etouffee, something I grew up making for my grandma. I know a lot of Cajun cuisine. Yeah. My nickname is Chef J the Goat. A lot of people back home call me the Goat because they think I'm one of the greatest millennial chefs of all time at home. Yeah. I'm liking my natural element There's right nothing now. For you, huh? Yeah. Everybody else, they're looking a little bit shaky, a little bit nervous. I'm not scared of anyone. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Make sure you try everything. I am a sous chef, so I do run a kitchen. I definitely have people who are older than me, under me, and a lot of people don't respect me. The fact that I'm young and I'm a woman doesn't help at all. My age shouldn't matter. My food should. Find you. Hold up. Two minutes to go. What do you got going on over here? I'm going to make some mirepoix for some cappuccino. Yep. This dish, it's important to me. I, I love cappuccino. And when I was around 17, this dish was actually the dinner that I came out to my family. And so cappuccino just has a really special place in my heart. If it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it. But I just want more garnish. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Wait, the 5, on. 4, 3, Walking. 2, 1. And stop. Well done. Yes. Well done. Uh, gentlemen, ladies, you don't mind if I invite you some very special guests. They're Vegas foodies, and they are here to understand how good the future generation of chefs are. Now, listen carefully. You are representing all of America as the next generation of chefs. In the last 19 seasons, I've tasted over 300 signature dishes. Some of them have been great. That is delicious. Wow, pink. Uh, that's a very strong five. Oh, Great wow. job. Thank you, sir. Others have been disgusting. Ah. I feel like I need some plastic wrap on my ass. And then there were those that were simply unexplainable. Spices are raw, bland. My dear Cooper, yeah, that is crapper. Listen carefully. Signature dish is your first big team challenge. Basically, it's you on a plate. I will score your dishes, a number between one and five. Five being fantastic, and one being disgusting. The team with the most points wins. Uh, let's start with you two. Let's go. In the Young Gun Signature Dish Challenge, Emily, a line cook from New York City, goes against Stephen, a chef de partie from Virginia. Uh, Steve, how old are you? 21. Wow. Current job? Uh, I'm a chef de partie for a country club. So that's uh, one position under a sous chef. So that's quite a decent position at the age of 21. Yeah. Where did you learn? When I was a young kid, I was really, really picky. I would eat ramen noodles and hot dogs. <laughs> that's no way to live. No. So my grandmother, she broke me out of that, and she exposed me to a lot of different ingredients. Good. So that's why I'm here. Good. Uh, describe the dish, please. All right. 